Hi you guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the patient investor versus an impatient investor. Which one do we wanna be? There are a lot of important ingredients in the recipe for great investing, but by far, one of the most valuable important traits that an investor can possess is patience. Charlie Munger says, we make money while we wait. A patient investor will almost always perform better than someone who's impatient. Let's take a look at some important distinctions between a patient investor and an impatient investor. First of all, patient investors know that investing is a long-term gain. It's a way to build up wealth over years and save toward a retirement, save toward financial freedom. Impatient investors, on the other hand, tend to treat the stock market like it's a casino or a get-rich-quick scheme. They're more worried about the money they're gonna make over the course of weeks or months than they are about the money they could potentially make over the course of years and decades. The crazy thing about stock market investing is realizing that 95 to 99% of the investors in the market are impatient investors, including virtually all of the people managing mutual funds. Trying to leverage the stock market for a short-term profit is almost always going to be little more than a gamble, and boy, do the fund managers do it. They get so impatient because they're being judged against their peers, and they may make money in playing the short-term gain, they may lose money, but it's not their money. Their job is to keep their job, not necessarily to make you money. And so they play a very short-term game. You might as well take your money to a blackjack table as to give it to a professional fund manager in Wall Street if you're expecting to beat the market. Patient investors, on the other hand, will almost always end up making money over the long term if they're buying wonderful businesses, even if they don't buy them on sale. They recognize the power of compounding interest. They use that power to safely grow their wealth as the years and the decades go by. Next, patient investors are slow to buy. It takes patience to hold onto a company for years or decades before you sell it, but it also takes patience to hold your money in cash until you're able to find an ideal buying opportunity. Impatient investors tend to purchase companies whenever they get money in their hand to purchase them with. They're extremely active in trying to get that money into the market. They're quick to jump on the bandwagon of any trending stock. They're watching momentum and they wanna catch that momentum and have it all go up all the time. And to succeed in the stock market, that doesn't work. You have to be willing to hold your money in cash for long periods of time and do your research and sit on the sidelines until a great buying opportunity presents itself. Now choosing the right stocks and purchasing them at a great price is an all important key to investing success. However, it often takes time and effort to find these opportunities. Patient investors are willing to put in this time and they're willing to put in that effort in order to ensure that they're putting their money into a sure thing. You gotta treat investing like you have a punch card of maybe 20 stocks, let's say 20 punches on a card. And when you're done punching out all 20 of those, you can't buy another stock for the rest of your life. If you did that, you would very likely end up saying no a lot more than you're gonna say yes, and you would certainly become a patient investor. Next, patient investors are confident. It's really difficult to be confident when you're gambling all the time and you know you're gambling. Patient investors are gonna take the time to be sure about the stocks that they're buying. When you do your research, when you learn everything there is to know about a company, and when you buy when it's on sale, you are going to be very confident that you're gonna make money investing. You almost can't help it. The value of this confidence can't be overstated. If you know that you're buying $10 bills for $5 over and over again, you know that it's just a matter of time before you're gonna get rich. Impatient investors, on the other hand, get burned by the stock market regularly when the momentum fails, when they fail to do their research on a stock. And when this happens, it shakes their confidence and it scares them away from the market entirely. And we see that happen all the time. Patient investors have no reason to fear the market. Even when the short-term market drop happens, which it does regularly, 
Patient investors recognize that investing is a long-term gain and they maintain confidence in the fact that they are going to make money on their investment. Now, finally, patient investors are rational. Fear and greed are two emotions that hold an enormous amount of sway over the stock market. They are also the two emotions that can lead someone straight to failure. When fear begins to take hold, impatient investors tend to panic and sell out of the companies they own. When a stock price is trending up, impatient investors tend to get greedy, piling money into the stock and driving the price up even beyond its true value. And while impatient investors are heavily influenced by these two emotions, fear and greed, obviously we're human, patient investors tend to be far more rational. This leads them to often make the exact opposite decision that impatient investors are making. When fear is driving the price of a stock down below its true value, those of us who are patient investors see a buying opportunity. We don't see a problem, we see an exciting opportunity. When greed is driving the price of a stock way up above its true value, patient investors like me tend to take their profits off the table while everyone else continues throwing money at an overpriced stock. Now, when you're patient and focus on the long term, it's so much easier to just take a step back and relax and not get caught up in the emotions and make a rational decision that's backed by logic and facts rather than spur of the moment trying to catch that momentum train. In the end, being able to remain rational and logical about investing is one of the most important keys to your success in financial independence. Now, you guys, I'd love to hear from you. Are you capable of being a patient investor or are you just doomed to be an impatient investor? How's that working out for you? Leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching, you guys. Now go play. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about patience and rational investing, please hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. We got a lot of videos out here. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.